In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some color grading on your photos using gradient map adjustment layers in Photoshop. So I've got this image here. This is straight out of camera, believe it or not. Uh, not much needs to be done to this in terms of retouching. Uh, it's obviously pretty high contrast uh, and high saturation already. So I'm just gonna jump straight in and start applying a grade to this. So what you can do with gradient map adjustment layers is you can come down here to your adjustment layer menu and pick gradient map, or you can get it off the adjustments panel here, uh, just at the bottom there. And then you can see it's mapping all the kind of dark uh, tones in the picture to the left hand side of the gradient and the light tones to this side. So if we just switch this round to something like that, it makes more sense. So you can see the darker areas are now purple, the lighter areas are now orange. So I could indeed use this as a grade, but it's pretty ugly, it's not really what I wanna do. So I'm gonna change this, uh, I'll just bring the um, gradient editor into here so you can see it. So I'm gonna change the darker color so it's more a kind of dark blue teal color, say around about there. We'll start off there. Uh, and the lighter end, I'm gonna make that similar tone, but on the lighter end of the spectrum. So that's my gradient map. So if I click OK on that, and then the trick to sort of start applying this is to change the blending mode of this layer to a uh, soft light, I think, which is just off screen. Let me just get that selected. There we go. So you can see it started to apply that. So you can see if I just toggle this on and off, obviously it's made everything quite dark, but all these sort of shadows in the uh, suit here are starting to pick up this kind of green pattern, which is exactly what I wanted. It's a little bit too dark, which we'll address in a moment. Um, but the other problem, and it is a general problem with color grading, is it, this has crept into the face as well. So there's all these sort of uh, you know, bluish teal tones in the face that we don't want there. So what I want to do is isolate this so it doesn't spill into the face. So one way you can do this is with blending options on the layer. So if you right click on your layer and go to uh, blending options, then you've got these options down here, blend if. And this is really where the power comes in with adjustment layers. So what you can do with this is say, well, I only want to apply this if the layer kind of goes beneath a certain level of, um, in this case, I suppose, luminance. Um, so that's kind of useful. So you can see you can start sort of isolating between luminance values with that. Uh, but what you can also do is isolate the different channels uh, of RGB, red green, red, red, green, blue. So I can get the blue channel and then go, right, well, we'll do it based on that rather than um, the gray layer. Now with that, I can see, if you just watch her face and her body as I'm sliding this, I can just about separate how it's affecting the face from the body little roll off, but you can just about get it there. Now, what you'll notice as well is it gives a very hard roll off. So you can see it's gone very blocky between the kind of orangey uh, shades of her skin and, and this um, uh, more sort of teal blue. So what you can do is if you hold your Alt key down and then drag either side of this thing, you can actually sort of create a um, gradient, if you like, for where this transition occurs between where the gradient layer is applied and where it doesn't apply. So it doesn't just go from kind of applied to not applied, it just trails off over this kind of area of the, um, I guess, luminance of the blue channel and that just rolls it off a little bit softer. So you can tweak with that uh, on either side and just muck around with that till you get a kind of nice roll off. So that's how to achieve a very, very simple grade. Now, you aren't always going to be able to do it 
with um, blend if so you might have a more complicated image where uh, you know you just can't isolate part of your image like that so if I was doing that I would simply just come in on the mask on the adjustment layer and just paint out the area that I don't want the grade being applied to I'm not doing it very carefully here just painting with fairly broad strokes but you can see that just brings her entire face back into that kind of more warm orangey palette that she had in the first place. So obviously this has gone a bit dark with that gradient map. So what I'm going to do is put a curves adjustment layer on top of all this and just tweak the color back so we can get this uh, in a kind of nice finished tone. So I'm going to want to bring a bit of uh, highlights back in the picture because um, it it's just getting a little bit dark overall. And then what you can do with curves is if you grab this icon or button up the top here, you can modify the curve based on a specific area. So I can target a sort of area that I want to bring up in color. So I'm thinking this little patch down here is kind of the level of the tone we're losing. So then if I just click and hold there and then just slide it up and down, you can see that's the point it's sort of uh, starting to affect the curve from. So I let go and you can see that's actually all the way down there. Now if I tried to guess that kind of manually uh, you know on the curve I probably wouldn't have hit that so that's really really useful. Likewise if you feel your highlights are getting a bit um, too strong use the color picker go to info you know you can just hover your um, color picker here over the hotspots and just look at the RGB B values up here as you move your cursor around. You can see if you're peaking or not. Uh, so obviously this area here is just off hitting, uh, being completely overexposed, but that's okay. It's more these sort of highlights in the hair that I don't want to end up getting overexposed. But again, they're okay as well. Uh, but we could pop back to our uh, curves layer here. You know, I could grab that again and then you know, pick an area up here and maybe bring that down and muck around with that, etc., uh, which I don't really want to fiddle with too much. So that's really all there is to it. So you can use gradient maps, use blend, blend if to control how they're applied. Uh, you can obviously layer more than one gradient map on top of another. Uh, and then obviously you can always fall back to mucking it around with the layer mask if you need to to get more control over where uh, your color grades apply. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our channel here on Toy Shooter. Plenty of other tutorials on cool things you can do in Photoshop and also head over to toyshooter.com where you can pick up our free toy photography guide. So I look forward to seeing you there.